Continuing on our architect tour, we are in now in room J, and here we will meet Jorn Oberg Utzon. The architect of the Sydney Opera House, Jorn Utzon, was a, rel un a relatively unknown 38-year-old Dane in January of 1957 when his entry was announced winner of the international competition to design a national opera house for Sydney, Ben Long Point. His vision for a sculptural curved building on the harbor broke radically with the cube and rectangular shapes of modernist architecture. The building transformed his career and in turn transformed the image of an entire nation. In 1956, the New South Wales Premier, the Honorable Joe Cowhill, announced an international competition for the design of the Opera House for the Sydney, which attracted more than 200 entries from around the world. After having won a number of smaller architectural competitions, Utzon submitted his vision for the Sydney Opera House. His competition entry contains schematic designs clearly explaining the concept for the building, but not how it would be built. The challenge of constructing the concrete shells that would form the roof would confound the building's engineers for years. It was Utzon who eventually struck upon a sphere solution to craft the shells from the surface of an imaginary sphere. This spherical solution elevated the architecture beyond a mere style, in this case that of shells into a more permanent idea, one inherent of the universal geometry of the sphere. It was also a timeless expression of the fusion between design and engineering. After his work on the Sydney Opera House, Jorn Utzon completed other architectural projects, such as the Cannes in Majorca, 1972, the Pustin Furniture Store in Copenhagen in 1987, and Cane Felice in Majorca, 1995. The principles behind his renowned Bagdors Church of 1976 in the suburbs of Copenhagen and his Parliament building in Kuwait, 1983, can be traced directly back into his original vision for the Sydney Opera House. A quote from Jorn, My job is to articulate the overall vision and detailed design principles for the site and for the form of the building and its interior, said Utzon of his design principles, which were published in 2002. I like to think the Sydney Opera House is like a musical instrument, and like any fine instrument, it needs a little maintenance and fine tuning from time to time. If it's to keep on performing at the highest level. In 2003, the same year the Opera House celebrated its 30th birthday, Jorn Utzon was awarded the Pritzer Prize for the Architecture, the highest award in its field. In 2007, the Sydney Opera House was formally recognized as one of the most outstanding places on earth with its inclusion of the UNESCO World Heritage List. Under the World Heritage Converse Convention, Jorn Utzon died peacefully in his sleep in Copenhagen on November 29, 2008, at the age of 90 years old. <laughs>